Hey everybody, I got some new parts in and the robot is twice as strong as before. This is challengeyourself.blog and we're starting right now. I'd like to start with a huge shout out to Designatronics. I got some sample parts in and they're working great. I'll showcase those in a moment. I also have a poll at the end of the video. I'd like to get your feedback on what you're here for. If you're here to see the robotics content, the Elite Dangerous series I'm working on, any of the other video games that I'm uh, doing reviews on, or if you're here for all of it, please let me know what your thoughts are. So as I said in the opening, I got some products in from Designatronics. You can find everything that they offer at sdp-si.com. They have a great selection, anything for uh, robotics, mechanical parts, uh, whatnot. Uh, check it out. So as I was doing the redesign of my robot, I was kind of concerned about how much weight I was putting on the bottom stepper motor uh, that I was using for support so that I could turn the arm uh, left and right. I rebuilt the stand. I had some parts that I'd ordered a couple months ago, and I, I wanted something that was a little bit sturdier that would be able to hold uh, you know, multiple motors, pulleys, the arm itself, and I kind of came up with a quick uh, redesign that I think you know works out pretty well and I have uh, two motors that are working in sync uh, for moving the bottom uh, strut and that synchronization that I, I did uh, that's all driven by the Python code uh, that I'm using rather than using switches it was something that I had a, a snippet of code I don't remember exactly where I got it uh, once I figure out where I got that from because I got the code I've been kind of tinkering with this for about a month. Uh, I'll post that link in the video description. I do have the code uh, shown on the screen, so if you you know pause it or you know slow it down, you can see uh, in more detail what the the actual code is that's driving this. But I I modified that code so that I could run two motors. Originally, if you look at uh, was one of my previous videos. I only had one motor that was uh, running uh, the arm. I made a little gearbox, quote, you know, air quotes, uh, that it was, it did what I wanted it to do, but it wasn't going to be robust enough uh, to actually do what I intended on doing down the road. So I'd been kind of, I had a, an idea in my mind of what I wanted to do with the, the pulleys, uh, but I didn't have all the parts on hand and I was not real sure how I could get it to work without, especially using only one motor. Uh, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to be able to generate enough torque. Well, once I got the parts in, I was able to uh, code it and, and arrange it mechanically in a way that I think is going to work out okay. So one of the issues that I'm running into is the driver boards that are running the stepper motors. Uh, I can only run three of them uh, because of the number of pins that are on the Raspberry Pi. So in order to uh, expand upon that, I've got this MCP 23017 uh, chip. I have a couple of them that I can use to expand those pins uh, so that I can run multiple motors. Part of the issue with this is that Raspberry Pi requires a lot of library updates and some extra code and stuff uh, that will enable me to actually use this. I'm kind of in the middle of uh, doing those updates and I'll do another video on that because I'm not sure at the moment if I have everything that I need because um, I haven't got that far in, into the uh, the wiring part of that and the, the coding so that'll be a separate video so stay tuned i also have an elite dangerous video that's also underway i'm going to be covering deep core mining it'll be mostly a tutorial on how to do it most effectively it'll save you a lot of time and there's a couple little things i, I looked online i saw a couple uh, things on youtube that helped me figure it out uh, but there were still a couple little confusing things that uh, weren't really mentioned in the videos. So I'll, I'll have those as like an extra tip uh, for being most effective at this. So if you liked what you saw today, please hit the like button. Also, please subscribe. And if anything, please you know share this video. It really helps out the channel. Also, before you go, please vote in the poll that I posted. I'd really like your feedback on you know what content you're here for. 
if you're here for all of it uh, or if you're here for portions of it. I've been tinkering around with the idea of uh, splitting the channel into one that's specific to the robotic side and one that's uh, specific to the gaming side. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you'd like to see all of it, I'll keep it together. Thanks for watching this video and talk to you soon.